Aloha champions! Today is Tuesday, April 7th. Today is a math lesson, lesson 4.5, fractions and decimals. Our objective for today is scholars will be able to express fractions as decimals and decimals as fractions. Okay, so in your packet you have a two-page assignment. Looks like this, independent practice, Tuesday, April 7th. Down at the bottom is page 391, okay? So I'm going to be doing a lesson to help you explain this. Just remember to read the directions carefully for what it is asking, whether it is asking to express each fraction as a mixed number as a decimal, or whether it's asking to express the decimal as a fraction. And when you're doing decimals to fractions, it will be in its simplest form. So I know it's been a while since we've talked about fractions, but it is something that we want to be aware of, okay? So as I've been saying throughout this whole lesson, our fractions are the same as our decimals. Our fractions represent a part of a whole number, and our decimals represent a part of our whole number, okay? So there's three parts to today's lesson, okay? Part one. We're going to be converting our fractions into decimals, okay? So the first problem we have here is to convert one-fifth, I've drawn the fraction one-fifth, into a decimal. Note, we need to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10 or 100, okay? So I have very smallly, it's hard to see it on the camera, put a small number line next to my fraction bar, going from zero to one whole with one decimal in each one. Or what I can do is I know that five times two equals 10, and I can convert my fraction by multiplying both my numerator and my denominator by two. One times two would equal two. And so as a fraction, one-fifth is equal to two-tenths. As a decimal, I know that the first decimal place after my decimal point is my tenths, so it has a denominator of 10, so I can just put my two in my tenths spot, okay? So 0 0.2 is equal to two-tenths, or one-fifth, okay? Gonna try down here, problem number two. I wanna express the mixed number of three and four fifths as a decimal. I know that if I have three and four fifths, my whole number will stay the same. So throughout my fraction conversion and my decimal conversion, I have my three as my whole number. Now looking at my fraction, I have four fifths. Well, from my last one, I learned that five times two gives me 10. So if I multiply both my denominator and my numerator by two, four times two would give me eight. Five times two will give me 10. So as a fraction, three and four fifths is equal or equivalent to three and eight tenths. Now as a decimal, I can write it out as 3.8 because my tenths spot is that first de decimal point or decimal point after the decimal, okay? Moving on, a few more practice problems for us. Now I have a denominator of 100. I need to express three one hundredths as a decimal. So I've drawn out this grid. It's 100 cubes with three of the squares filled in. It is not quite a tenth, but it, it does already have my denominator of 100. So because it has a denominator of 100, it does not have a whole number in front, and it's not a mixed number, I know that it's going to be a zero, or placeholder zero, 
in my one spot, my decimal point, and because I'm not in my tenths, I put a placeholder zero in my tenth spot, and then I'm going to plug in my three. So three one hundredths as a decimal would be read as three hundredths or zero point zero three. My tenths and my hundredths, only a three and my hundredths for that problem. Problem number four, I want to express seven fourths as a decimal. Now seven fourths is an improper fraction. We talked about these a while ago, but improper fractions means that I have a numerator that is larger than my denominator. In order to convert this into a mixed number, I need to divide my numerator by my denominator. Four can go into seven one time. Seven minus four equals three, or my numerator, three, okay? So 7 fourths is equal as a mixed number to 1 whole and 3 fourths. Now 4 cannot multiply to equal 10. Our multiples of 4 are 4, 8, and 12, not 10. So the equivalent fraction, if I have a 4 as my denominator, would be 100. And because we know that fourths are equal to a quarter, and we know that a quarter is 25 cents. Four times 25 equals 100. So if I'm multiplying my denominator, I also want to multiply my numerator. I'm going to multiply three times 25, or I can skip count by 25. 25, 50, 75. So 3 fourths is equal to 75 hundredths. My whole number stays the same, does not change. So now I'm left with a decimal, or a fraction, I should say, of 1 whole and 75 hundredths. To convert this into a decimal, I'll leave my 1 whole and I'll just carry my 75 hundredths, because my de denominator is 100, into my decimal place. 1 and 75 hundredths is equal to 1 and 75 hundredths, or 7 tenths and 5 hundredths. Okay? This page, we have six practice problems. And I'm going to work through these to help you understand what I'm looking at so that when you get to the worksheet, you can uh, use these principles to help you solve those problems, okay? Problem number one, three-fifths is equal to how many tenths? Well, three or five times two is ten. Three times two would be six. So as a decimal, Six tenths would be written as 0.6 or 0 0.6 if I want to do that. Okay? Problem number two. One quarter is equal to how many hundredths? Well, a quarter is worth 25 cents or 25 of a hundred. So my decimal would be 0.25 or 0 0.25. Problem number three, I have the mixed number of two and one half, and I need to convert that into a decimal. Two times five equals 10. So that gives me my equivalent fraction. One times five equals five. Two and one half is equal to two and five tenths. As a decimal, 2 and 5 tenths is equal to 2.5, okay? Problem number four, I have the mixed number of 3 and 4 25ths. Well, I know that 25 cannot 
go down to 10. I can't divide it down, so I'm multiplying to get to 100. There are four quarters, or 25 times four, to equal 100. So what I do to my denominator, I do to my numerator, four times four would equal 16. Because I have 100 down as my denominator, I can just carry my numerator into my decimal points. So 3 and 16 hundredths is equal to 3.16. Okay? Problem number five, converting 7 fifths into a decimal. Now there's places here that tell me that I have a whole number followed by a fraction. This is an improper fraction that I need to convert into a mixed number and then I need to convert that mixed number into an equivalent fraction with either a 10 or 100 as my denominator, okay? Five goes into seven one time. Seven minus five is two with a denominator of five. So seven fifths converts to a mixed number of one and two fifths, and I need an equivalent mixed number. So I know my one stays the same there, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4. My mixed number now is 1 and 4 tenths, so I'll have my whole number 1.4, 4 tenths. Number 6, 23 twentieths. Same as number 5, I have an improper fraction. I know that 20 can go into 23 one time with a remainder of three. That remainder goes as my numerator. And so now I have one and three twentieths. Twentieth can't, can reduce down to 10, but three cannot be divided by two. So I need to multiply to equal 100 as my equivalent fraction. So 20 times five equals 100. 3 times 5 equals 15. I have 1 and 15 hundredths. Because my hundredths is here as my denominator, I could just plug in my numerator as my decimal with my whole number of 1. So that's part 1. I'm converting my fractions into decimals. Moving on to part two, we'll be converting our decimals into fractions. Okay, so part two, decimals as fractions. Number one, I have the decimal of 0.8 or 8 tenths, and I need to convert it to a fraction in its simplest form. I've already drawn out that 0 0.8, if each one of these is a tenth, would be equal to the fraction of 8 tenths. However, we have this key phrase here to reduce it down to its simplest form. So simplest form means that what I've, I need to find a common factor that both 8 and 10, and I know 8 and 10 are both even numbers, so they can both be divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4, 10 divided by 2 equals 5. If I drew out the model, I can just take away this middle line, and that gives me 1, 2, 3, 4 fifths of it is 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 as a fraction in its simplest form is 4 out of 5, or 4 fifths. Problem number two, I want to express 0. Point, or 0 0.04, 4 hundredths as a fraction in its simplest form. 0. 0.04 is equal to 4 hundredths. I know that both 4 and 100 can both be divided by 4. They have the common factor of 4, so 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 100 divided by 4 
is 25. So four hundredths is one twenty-fifth. Now I'm converting some mixed numbers. The first mixed number I have here is 6.5, which is equal to 6 and 5 tenths, because I'm reading off what the decimal is. I only have a 5 in the tenths place. It would be 5 tenths. Next, I need to convert this to its simplest form. And I know that 5 tenths is equal to 1 half. So 6.5 is equal to six and a half. On your packet, I do believe that it's going to ask you to do your in-between stages. So even if we do know that 6.5 is six and a half just by glancing at it, we also wanna know what this middle stage is of saying that it is five tenths, okay? Problem number four, converting 7.25 down to a mixed number. So 7.25 is equal to 7 and 25 hundredths. 25 and 100 can both be divided by 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So 7.25 is equal to 7 and a quarter. Okay. Got a few practice problems now that I'm going to work through. Remember, I'm converting my decimal into a fraction in its simplest form. Simplest form is a key phrase that is included in all of your directions, so try to be mindful of that. Problem number one, zero and four, ten or four tenths is written as a fraction as four over 10. Now I know that both four and 10 are even numbers. They have a common multiple of two. Four divided by two is two. 10 divided by two is five. Problem number two, six tenths is written as six tenths. And again, dividing by two, because these are both even numbers, six divided by two is three, 10 divided by two is five. Six tenths is equal to three fifths. 2.8, I leave my two as my whole number, and I can say my 0.8 as eight tenths. Well, same as four tenths, same as six tenths, these can all be divided by two. Whatever I do to my numerator, I do to my denominator. So I leave my whole number out front. Eight divided by two is four. 10 divided by two is five. Two and eight tenths is equal to two and four fifths. 3.75, I know that I have my three as a whole number and I have 75 hundredths. Now I need to convert this to its simplest form. My three stays out front and 75 and 100 can both be divided or have a common factor of 25. 25 goes into 75 three times. 25 goes into 100 four times. 3.75 would be three and three fourths. Next up I have four and 15 hundredths. Four and 15 hundredths. I do need to convert this to its simplest form as a fraction. So 15 and 100, the common factors of those, the common factor I can find, if I factor this out, is I have 15 and one, five and three, I have 100, 1, 50 and 2, 20 and 5, 25 and 4, and I have realized, and 5, oh, I've already done 5 and 20. So 5 and 20, 5 is my common factor, 
So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 100 divided by 5 is 20. 3 twentieths would be my um, factor or my fraction. And my whole number stays as 4. 4 and 3 twentieths. Sorry if I'm moving a little fast. I will be available to answer questions via email if you are having any difficulties with this. Okay, on to 6.72. I know that my whole number is 6, and I read out this last part as 72 one hundredths. But there's a space left over here for us to put it in its simplest form. Well, we just went through the factors of 15 and 100, and I don't see a factor that is common for 72 and 100. However, I do know that 72 is an even number, even numbers being any number divisible by 2. So that's our zeros, twos, fours, six, eights, and tens. I can divide 72 divided by 2 and 100 divided by 2. My whole number stays the same. 100 split into two parts is 50, and 72 split into two parts is 2 goes into 7, 3 times, minus 6, 7 minus 6 is 1, carry down my 2 into 12, 2 goes into 12, 6 times, half of 72 is 36. The simplest form of 6.72 as a fraction is 6 and 36, 50, 50ths, okay? We've got one last part that we need to go over to help you on your assignment. Part three is adding our tenths and our hundredths. So whether it's presented as a fraction or as a decimal, we need to be able to know how to add up our parts of our whole, okay? So with this, if I'm dealing with fractions, the easiest way I'd want to do this is I'd want to convert them into like fractions. It's always going to be easier to convert our tenths into hundredths rather than our hundredths into tenths, because ten can always multiply up Hundreds can divide down, but depending on what your numerator is, it may not be as fluid. So to convert three tenths into a like fraction, I simply add a zero in my hundredths spot. So three tenths becomes 30 hundredths. Now if I add 30 plus 49, I can line those up. 49 plus 30, 9 plus zero is 9. 40 plus 30 is 70, so this would be 79 hundredths, or as a decimal, 0.79. Problem number two, again, converting our fractions, adding up our hundredths and our tenths. They've swapped the places of our tenths and hundredths, but I can still convert and still follow the same process. 10 times 10 is 100, so just put a zero in our 100 spot. What I do to my denominator, I do to my numerator. So now I'm adding 40 hundredths plus 65 hundredths. 40 plus 65 equals 5. 40 plus 60 equals 100. Now, as a fraction, that would be read as 105 hundredths, but because that's an improper fraction, that would be one whole and five hundredths. Final step is I'd want to convert that to a decimal, 1.05. Okay, so 65 hundredths plus 41 hundredths. If I add 65 cents plus 40 cents, I have a dollar and five cents. Last two problems for this video, we have 0 0.67 and 0 
Yes, these are in a horizontal format. I can easily just put them in a vertical format, if that helps me understand. And I'm going to put a placeholder zero behind my eight tenths so that, it, just like I did up here, it's read the same as my other numbers. Line them up vertically, my tenths with my tenths, my hundredths with my hundredths. Seven plus zero is seven. 80 plus 60 is 140. So I'd, as a decimal, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.67, 8 tenths and 67 hundredths equals, or it has a sum of 1 and 47 hundredths, okay? Problem number four, if I just glanced at this, I'd see a seven and a three, and I know that those are common numbers and those add up to 10. However, this is in my tenths spot. This is in my hundredths spot. So I'm going to line them up vertically, put a placeholder zero after my seven because I don't have anything in my hundredths spot. And then I'm going to line up vertically my 43 hundredths. Three plus zero is three. 70 plus 40 is 110. 70 cents plus 43 cents is a dollar 13 or one and 13 cents. So I know this is a lot of information. I know it goes pretty quickly in this video, but when you look at your worksheet, you have your common denominators of five, 20, four, and 50, all of which I have provided an example for in this video. With your decimals, you've got pretty common decimals that will convert pretty well down to its simplest form. Remember, even numbers ending with a two, four, six, eight, or 10 can be divided by two. You have numbers that can be divided by fives or numbers that can be divided by tenths. Try your best as you work through this. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with on this assignment. Thank you for your time. Take care and I hopefully will talk to you soon. Bye.